Hello guys and welcome to the new news of our new overlords, the Opera Maker Studio 2.3. something 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 and we got some new uh, tiers added or squished into a very more streamlined and I guess more affordable way because 8 bucks that is a steal, it is definitely a steal. But of course um, if you bought the licenses for the desktop export or for example for mobile and this stuff is getting honored, is it? So for example here a little proof, I have the mobile and because this is my video where I actually showed it, so this is one month ago and then Game Makers to the desktop and then I just look at my account <sighs> what? and of course this one is gone by the way also so what is happening here? is everything gone? Uh, is everything imploding? is it time to go to Godot and say like <laughs> best system ever? yeah stay tuned so you will know so for context they recently I guess one or two days ago whatever even today I'm not even sure they changed their tiers into three streamlined ones and this is of course not the worst way how to handle it because let's say you just want to develop your game you just want to dab a little, little bit and you don't want to spend any money uh, then this Game Maker Studio 2 is free so I guess this is a way how to ditch the old 1.4 because that was an old system and the newer one is uh, I guess a little bit more superior you could say it more or less because I, I guess it looks more slicker, it's newer, it's faster and so on and so on. So they can streamline it the way they are. And then for example you say like hey after one year, half a year, whatever, how long you are doing your coding, your programming, your designing, whatever. And then you say like hey I actually like it, I want to export my thing. Then you can go for a yearly um, license if you like for example as an indie and then or you just say like at the one, one month if you are <laughs> really tight uh, on a really tight budget and you're thinking like sweet i'm getting all the licenses for eight bucks for one month and then you abuse the system and then you just have it for one month and then you cancel your subscription because this is i guess a way of course if you are a fan like me of permanent licenses what's happening here but that point i will come back in a few seconds and I guess in a minute or something like that. So basically before that you had to buy uh, licenses for the export for I don't know for desktop, for web, for mobile and this but now they streamlined it as a subscription in just these three tiers and here you got all the essential exports in one tier for really the steel price for eight bucks a month or for example hey 84 bucks a year. So here once again uh, a pretty smart move from their side to make it extremely affordable and of course if you are a developer and you got uh, you want to go to consoles by the way uh, you cannot just go to Nintendo or whatever and say like hey I want to export my games to that you still need to be in a partner program or whatever and so this is for more seasoned and experienced people and if they need the license anyway but for example let's say uh, yeah, 600 bucks, that's quite a lot. But for example, if you're making a lot of uh, money anyway, then I guess this won't be an issue anyway. So what's the thing? For example, here they made a little uh, block, access more platforms, blah, 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 blah. They may want to have it be uh, more affordable for everybody so you can make your games. And here, this FHQ, this is for the permanent licenses. And this is kind of important. So let's say um, I, had, I have my mobile and I have my desktop. Then it says like, hey, not an issue. If you have a permanent license, you still will have it forever and ever and ever. And therefore um, you can upgrade. This is the thing you can upgrade to a license. So for example, here let's say like, hey, I want to have that for a month or for a year or whatever. And then you can upgrade to it. And for example, if you cancel it, you still have your permanent license anyway. So let's say for example, I just have the uh, thing for desktop but I want to have all the other ones then you can just un upgrade it and then you can downgrade it by cancelling your subscription at some point so here once again uh, not a biggie and of course once again if you are a fan of permanent licenses yeah that's not uh, possible anymore because here they kind of uh, deleted this point it is not valid anymore so for example if you are in quotations one of those old school people who just want to own the software and then be done with it yeah um, well then you had to buy the 
thing before. So here, once again, uh, not a fan of subscriptions, of course, the price is definitely a steal going forward. So eight bucks, wow, that's really, 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 really competitive. So here, once again, not the worst uh, move on their side. But uh, for example, if you just have it, then you can upgrade it or downgrade it the way you like it. So here, not a problem. And I guess that's not going to take advantage. All right, I guess you have some. I'm not sure what that means. So if you have a permanent one, yes, you can have it for one one year or whatever. I'm not sure what that actually says because it's not too clear, but doesn't really matter. And for example, here on my uh, thing here, why my uh, Steam license isn't working because I guess they're still working it. So if you have any questions, you can write them a ticket and that's why I guess it's not being shown. But for example, if I go on to Game Maker Studio, that stuff all works. So Windows or whatever, or the exports, I just check them out. So let's check them out. Great. Yup, it does work. So everything is in order. So here from my side, there are uh, no issues for now. Interestingly, by the way, uh, the HTML5 uh, export is gone also, which should be there because we still have the 10th. Yeah, I guess they should leave it up for two more days because if you want to go into the uh, thing, the, the, the game jam, whatever, then mm, why is that gone? <laughs> but I it can still export it. So uh, can I, can I, can I? Yes, I can. Let's see. Yep. I still can, so this does work also. So I guess they got some registry stuff or whatever. So here, uh, don't be afraid that so some stuff is not showing in your licenses. I guess it's still there. They just need to um, rewind the system. As, a, as far from my side, everything seems to be working still. So here, they just want to um, channel you into the direction, hey, we are going subscriptions because subscriptions are uh, a thing of the future, which once again, not a big fan of because, hey, let's go the Adobe route where you make everything uh, ultra expensive for no particular reason. All right, so that was it from my side. Hopefully not too rambly. Now um, you got all the confusion out of the way. So once again, three tiers and then only the indie and the enterprise tier you actually pay if you want to export to the regular stuff and here the more expensive license if you want to go to consoles and that's pretty much it web exports so basically as you can see um, if you are enterprise then you just go uv uh, w export and then console exports in here uh, if not well then you go with the indie route and i guess this is the most common one which is well for eight bucks and therefore not in Issue. And once again, for perpetual licenses, I guess this is what they call it. So basically, uh, my existing licenses, so here, your perpetual, that means just you had a license for something, this will be honored for the future. And of course, if you go in Game Maker Studio 3, if this ever exists, then of course, this is null and void. But I guess this is a way, at least uh, a few years in the future. All right, that was it from my side with a long, 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 long rambly video. Have a good one. One up indie.